Here we are with two more senior uh, spring track boys. Tonight, we're gonna to be looking at Merrimack boys, giving them a little bit of recognition during this crazy time. We're still hoping for a spring track season, but we're not sure what's gonna come of it. So we wanna make sure we, we do good shout outs and recognition for all these, these seniors that have been working so hard to get to their senior year. So welcome tonight, guys, and let's get started right away and, and learn about you too. So we'll start over here with John. Describe how you're handling the COVID-19 related situation, your remote learning, training in isolation. How are you handling everything? Um, I'd say I'm handling it pretty well so far. Um, working out is definitely a struggle seeing as how all the gyms have closed and like the gyms at the high school, we can't go to obviously as well, but still getting and running as well. So that's definitely helping. And school-wise, I'd say I'm maintaining my grades pretty well. The workload isn't too strenuous on me, so. Great. How about you, Jared? Um, I'd say school, similar to Polly, is very uh, – it's biweekly. So we have, like, at least my schedule. So we have, like, classes at the beginning of the week, and we have a full week to do them. So it's not that bad. And then for working out, I kind of have, like, a routine I do, and it's just all body weight stuff, and it's it's not that bad. It's just not as ideal as you would hope for. Now you guys are, are sprinters and throwers, so you're looking at more explosive stuff. So what are some creative things that you're doing at home to try to manage that? You say you don't have a gym. So what are some creative things you're doing to, to help with that? Jared, we'll start with you this time. Um, I would say a lot of jumps with resistance and um, like all, all heavy resistance, but with no weight. So like resistance bands and uh, light, light weights that you can move with. I'd say are the key to keeping the explosiveness up. Great. How about you, John? Yeah, I'd say pretty much the same thing as Jared said. Uh, I use a lot of bands at home. So, I mean, that gives you like that, just enough resistance to make you more explosive. But I mean, we don't have as much weight, but it still works in a way that helps. Great. Okay. So let's see. Um, how about we jump to your favorite workout? John, we're gonna start with you. What's your tra your favorite track workout and why is it your favorite? Um, my favorite track workout has to be 400 the hard way as we call it, where you run a 100 meter around the track and then jog back 50 meters. And then you continue that until you reach the, where you started. And I like that one so much just cause like you get a lot of running in where but you like little break time and it just like, it's not a full spring, you work on like your form and perfecting how you should run in the same time. How about you, Jared? What's your favorite workout and why? Um, I'm a big hills guy, but only if it's top hills. Only if it's top hills. If it's uh, if it's full hills, I don't know. I don't really know what that's like because I'm a thrower. So I like the top hills. <laughs> nice. All right, that'll lead us into the next one. What motivates you the most to do well, and how does your coach motivate you? Jared, we're going to start with you. Uh, I just don't really want to let any of my team down, so by doing as much as I can, I just would motivate me to be better every day. Anything specific your coach, your coaches do to help with that? or? Uh, our coaches are very, very good, and they know a lot, and they help us with – a lot of form stuff that we obviously don't know. And they just kind of, they've seen so much over their long, like careers coaching that they just know all the little things that make us better. Great. How about you, John? Um, I would say what motivates me to do well is just, I want to be a better leader to those below me and like set an example for those like coming into their few years of, or first few years of track. I mean, I, I feel like that means a lot to me being able to be like kind of a, older brother or a leader to these younger kids and teaching them how to about the sport of track and then my coach Nell and coach Sambor are excellent motivators I feel I feel always calm and cool and relaxed when I go into every race because they come up to me before every single time and kind of take the tension off and even when I'm racing they always like push me during the race which helps right all right, how about your favorite thing about track and field? John, we'll start with you. Um, I know some people don't enjoy it as much as others, but I love the thrill of running. Like when that shot goes off, like I know it scares some people, but like I, I enjoy that so much. Like 
it's just thrilling running and competing in something that's just running. So, how about you, Jared? What's your favorite thing about track and field? Um, I'd say the decathlon, honestly, because me and me and all my friends, we at the end of the year we do the decathlon, and it's just a really fun two day event that we just spend the whole day together, do some athletic stuff, compete a little. It's fun. Okay, how about let's look at your favorite, uh, your favorite competition memory, and we'll start with you, Jared. Uh, I'd say at states last year at UNH. I, I threw like my PR of a 50 foot shot and I, I walked out the back of the circle and coach Snell runs over and hugs me and we started jumping and I was like, wow, I've never seen him so excited. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was That's cool. a great memory. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> How about you, John? Um, I would say also at the D1 Outdoor Championships last year, um, our four by one relay placed first place and Coach Snell had thought that, that nobody would ever break our school record after the team that he had in, like, 07 and 08 break it, and then we broke it by, like, four tenths of a second. So that was pretty exi exciting. All right, one last question before our lightning round of fun stuff. Uh, what's your favorite track and field event? John, start with you. Um, I would say definitely the 200 for me personally. I think just, like, it's a little bit more than just a 100 meter sprint, but it's less than a 400 meter pace. So it's like, that's probably my best event for me personally. So I find that the most exciting. Okay, how about you, Jared? I'd say discus because it's like, it's so technical that everything you do matters. And some other events like that I, I like shot put, like for example, I don't have like perfect form but like I'm just strong so like sometimes it goes far and then with something like discus it doesn't matter how strong you are if you don't do it right if you don't like do the right things it doesn't go as far actually I lied I want to ask you guys one more question you go you're both going to you know, division two II, division one schools so what do you plan to do you're going to do track and field you're going to do some other sports um what's your plan division one and two it's you know it's a tough thing they've got clubs they've got varsity sports so so what are you guys thinking about for next year? How about you, Jared? Um, I'll be playing football at Holy Cross. Um, it's a really big commitment. And a lot of people ask me, are you sure you want to do that? I'm like, absolutely. Uh, I love it. I, uh, every single part of it, I'll be working out, get a brotherhood of 90 guys. So it's going to be awesome. Great. How about you, John? Um, I'll be running track at Stonehill College, which is in Massachusetts. And that's it's a D2, but it's like still a very, very large commitment to run there. Um, they're one of the top teams in the NE10, so I'm very excited for that. And I'm excited to meet some new teammates because I've gone down to their practices and they seem like they're just like one like large family. So that's going to be fun to join. Great. All right, well, let's uh, end with some fun questions. We're going to do a little lightning round here. So, John, who do you want to give a shout out to? Um, definitely Coach Snell and Sanborn. Those are my dogs. Uh, they've been with me for four years, and I've loved having them coach me. And then I'd like to thank Coach Delgado and Coach Schwartz from Stonehill for giving me the opportunity to run Stonehill. How about you, Jared? Shout out to Coach Snell and Coach Sanborn, obviously. And then the rest of the Buffalo Relay team, Noah, <laughs> Eric, Jack, you know, just the, the original gang. Uh, pre meat meal, Jared. Anything, cause I don't, I don't have just a pre meat meal. I eat throughout throughout the meat, right before events, right after events. Doesn't really matter. So, anything I can find. Nice, John. Yours is probably a little different than that. <laughs> yeah, um, mine's usually grilled chicken, pasta, and like fruits and stuff. And on days of meat. I try not to eat that much because once I know after I run the 400, it'll probably come up, so. Especially in the 400, yeah. Yeah. All right, start with you, John. Favorite pre-race song? Pre-race song? Oof, that's a tough one. Um, I usually listen to a playlist of songs, but, I mean, if you're going to ask for a favorite song of all time, it's definitely Hips Don't Lie by Shakira. <laughs> How about you, Jared? Uh, just anything country, as long as it's country music. It helps keep you balanced. 
to calm balance. Interesting. Wow. All right. Surprise me. Nice. Okay. Last question. Best advice or quote ever given to you, Jared? Ooh. Don't let anyone outwork you. I would say is the best advice I've ever gotten. I like that. Nice. How about you, John? From a track standpoint, um, I've been told before races, don't think, just run. And that from Coach Snell, that really just clears my mind when I'm, when I'm uh, competing. So that definitely helps out. Great. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining us today and keep our fingers crossed for you know, maybe an abbreviated one, but some sort of spring track season for your senior year. Mm -hmm. But know that New Hampshire will be watching you do your sports that as you go into college next year. So best of luck, guys, and thanks so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you.